everybody, HK Sniper here. So, it's 2022. Happy New Year. And it's going to be the first video of this year. If I sound a little strange, it's getting over a cold slash, I don't know, COVID, who knows. Um, no tests available in the area, so I just did the normal thing that we've always done. Just stayed away from people, stayed home, relaxed, got over it. So, still kind of having a little after effects. It was actually a very short duration. I was sick maybe a day and a half. So, anyway. Not here to preach about being sick. So, like, <laughs> we've all heard enough about it, right? Anyway. Uh, this was a topic that we discussed today, actually, in our East German Reenacting Unit's uh, Facebook group chat. Uh, I remember Andrew brought this up. And I don't even know how we brought it up, but <laughs> it was funny enough that I thought it, this would be a great video. Uh, something short and, and to the point. This really, honestly, kind of could have went into the video about BS stories, for sure. Because this is an absolute BS story that you, especially World War II ring actors, you're going to hear this, and once I get into this topic, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. And probably from the title, I probably will title it something that's appropriate, but anyway, so let's just dive into it. Jeeps in a crate. You've heard it. Especially if you own a Jeep, you've heard it. You've had some boomer waddle up to you and tell you, oh, my grandpappy used to buy them Jeep shoes. <laughs> You'd order them out of a magazine for 50 bucks. <laughs> Happens all the time. I even hear about it doing Cold War events, it's just randomly brought up. Especially when you're talking about your collection. Oh, yours, I wish I could have bought some of them Jeeps in a crate for 50 bucks. <laughs> I could have got them in the 70s. <laughs> this is BS. If you ever hear someone bring that up, they are full of it. And it's something that even reenactors bring it up from time to time, that you could buy a Willie's Jeep and a crate for 50 bucks. So where does this come from? Well, it comes from uh, several publications, post-war magazines, that actually a scam. This was a scam ad. Um, most typically was in, I believe, Popular Science was one of them, and maybe another one. But this was an ad <laughs> that was a scam. And basically, you'd have to send these people 20 bucks, and they would tell you maybe where you could find a Jeep for 50 bucks. And it had nothing to do with it being in a crate. It's just, it was just a scam. This information was available for free, and you were literally paying someone 20 bucks <laughs> to tell you where you can potentially purchase this. And this scam worked so well, obviously, because boomers are repeating it to this day and spreading it around like it's truth. I don't know how many times I've heard about Grandpappy had a Willie's Jeep in his barn in a crate. My dad bought five Willie's Jeeps in a crate. If you ever hear someone say that, they're full of it. It's pure fantasy. It was a scam. It didn't happen. Willie's Jeeps, honestly, didn't even get shipped out too much in crates. It was a very specific means that they would do that if they they typically loaded them by driving them onto the boats and then unloaded them by driving them off of the boats. So if they had to ship them in a crate, it did happen. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist in any capacity. It did happen, especially with the, the Lend-Lease program to the Soviet Union. But mass quantities of surplus Jeeps being sold post-war in a crate pretty much a, a, a Willie's Jeep Lego kit. B.S. If anyone ever comes up and tells you that, 99% sure they're completely full of it. Simple as that. It's an interesting topic, and I've heard it numerous, numerous times, especially, especially in World War II reenacting. Someone would see a Jeep drive by, and they would talk about it, and I hate to say it, but I even heard some Jeep owners discuss this. Like I said, it was a very good scam, because there's a lot of people out there that still believe it. 
to this day. You even see it, especially on Facebook. Especially on Facebook. Some of the comments that we were sharing, and this is how it was found, was a story about it. All these people just making up stories about how their dads or grandpas or whatever bought these things. It didn't happen. Fantasy. It's as real as Bigfoot. So, <laughs> thought it would be an interesting quick topic to discuss. Very, very common. If you're a World War II reenactor and you have not heard that, that story <laughs> yet, I'm shocked. <laughs> All I gotta say is hang around one of the uh, Willie's Jeeps at a reenactment for a while and, and you're gonna hear it from someone. Someone's gonna <laughs> come waddling up and spout out some crazy story about how Jim Bob bought 30 of these things 50 years ago in the crates, and it's just for 50 bucks, and it's, oh my god, it's just, no. <laughs> so anyway, thought that'd be a cool, quick video for you guys. More content coming down the line. Talk to you later. Have a good one.